really pleased that we've got um, Barry Dodd here this morning. Barry Dodd, who's the Lord Lieutenant of North Yorkshire, uh, and also the Chairman of the Bank. So, what am I going to talk about? Well, first of all, I am a farmer. Uh, I, I, I don't claim that, but I've got three farms in North Yorkshire. And last week we had uh, fat lambs in First Market for about 85 pounds a head, which was less than, they were light lambs, about 40, 41 kilograms. Less than we got last year. And I entered the room with three people, and the opening statement was, tomorrow you will be a performer for supplier, unless you come up with 10% discount. The future of this country, and particularly so after Brexit, so I urge you to do more and more in concert with the brands that are here to get better and better at it because I'm absolutely sure that you are on the first step of a, of a big journey which can lead the whole of the UK from here in North Yorkshire. We're not just starting from afresh now. Our growers have been doing a phenomenal job and credit goes to these 2,000 down the bottom. But we need to understand and deliver what consumers will trust and buy. And we need to retain our customers and consumers. It's going to have to be a massive change in the way that farming is generally are managed if we don't have the subsidy schemes that we currently have. For me, that is going to make the change. It's going to build resilience into our farming systems and it's going to give us the opportunity to start to address this issue of climate change. You've already heard from the previous speakers with regard to change in atmospheric CO2 and this ability for the soil to hold carbon, to take carbon out of the atmosphere and potentially lock it away and reduce the impact of the on environmental dynamics. And uh, so we've also, with John Deere, we wanted to get a better signal. We were trying on SF1, which gives us a 10 centimetre FC signal like this. We tried SF2, it went down to this. We tried mobile ATK using the mobile network, down to two and a half centimetres. But the problem was when you lost the signal, you lost your RTK signal. So it was a decision that we took that we'd go out and spend some money and put our own TK network in. So everything on our farm now is down to two and a half centimetre accuracy. And then put that into Gatekeeper, do a chemical spray map, and go and spray those areas. So instead of spraying the whole field, we just go and spray the bits that we need to. And so the project's been running for, for nearly a year now, and um, we've engaged with over 130 farmers. Mostly tend to have been large professional farmers, we're about broad acre farming. We're not niche, we're not, not sort of hobby farms. This is about proper, large scale, broad acre farms. And certainly, I think on average, the farm size involved in this project is about 1,000 acres. I was sitting there this morning thinking, you know, sustainability is something different to me. This pen, to me, is sustainable. This pen is 44 years old. I've had it, that's how long I've had this pen. It's taken me through, and that's what sustainable low levels. It's taken me all the way through my, uh, my A-levels, I've written all my exam papers with this, I even wrote applications, can you believe that? I wrote job applications with this pen. And the only thing I've changed it is, is the refill. So it depends on your perspective. Different things are sustainable. And I, I like the fact that I've still got this pen. That is a good feeling to on, on the question of sustainability, I, I think I work, work, whereas I agree completely with all the comments that have been made about biological sustainability, I think financial sustainability is also a key a component of the discussion, and I agree with Richard's two elephants, uh, and I think uh, that's something we have, we have to bear those elephants in mind. I think engaging with the uh, downward supply chain is, should be a very important part of the process to see, particularly as a commodity producer, to see how we can extract further value from the supply chain.